picked up a school kid, a toddler and a newborn. So I sort of feel like I'm doing parenting on the front line with all those different things. noisy here so you might be able to hear me but I am at the bus stop off to um, Evelina's six week weigh in and um, it's really early in the morning so it's about 9.30 now and our appointment's in 10 minutes but I've got to wait for the bus it takes another two minutes to come and go up there and on this appointment they're going to check her weight and so I haven't had her weighed literally since she was born so I'm interested to see if they track them on like a percentile um, which is kind of like whether they're average or above or below. So she was on the 50th percentile, so literally dead on average, but her head was on the 75th. <laughs> so that made me feel like a bit of a rock star pushing that out. And they also check the mother's emotional and physical well being as well. So going to this on a day when I've had not much sleep, I have, it wasn't her fault, she slept really well, I just didn't get much sleep and I had such a rush that I overslept a little bit. The boys were up before me, had to come in and get me up and say we're hungry for our breakfast. I was so sleepy, haven't brushed my hair, brought my hairbrush with me. So that was all fine, we are done. She's still tracking on the same percentile, which was apparently the 75th percentile. She's a bit unsettled now, I did give her a feed. I think she's tired. I am actually starving and I really need to go to the loo, but I think I'm going to try and get the bus all the way back. So I'm back and I'm trying to put Lena to sleep, but she's literally not having any of it. Why do I wake back on the Rich Smiths? Because today a new magazine is out and there's a feature on me in it about my blogging and about Evelina's labour specifically and the live labour that we did with Channel Man. So I'm going to go and get it and in a true, I don't know if I don't know, I literally have not been to the loo yet or read in anything. I'm like on a mission today, I've had such a productive morning. I think it's because I'm nervous about this magazine article that you know you get that sort of nervous energy. Let's go see if I can find it. So it's the right, um, it's the right one. Bella magazine. I just checked it's in the contents. I'm not going to look at it in here. I'm too nervous. I'm going to go get a coffee and read it. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's literally the worst photo I could ever have chosen. saying to me, have you got a photo of you looking awful? I was like, no I don't. They have found one. <laughs> They've taken that as a screen grab from my blog and I put it in the blog. Oh wow, well, that's what I looked like after I just spent three hours giving birth. There's so much brushing around today. So I think I'm kind of getting over. That was a, quite a shock, just seeing that awful photo. You only just given birth and your husband just takes a quick photo. And I did put it in my vlog because I thought, I do hate seeing those videos, the pictures of mums who just look really lovely. They just have given birth and they're in their gown. I'm like, how do you do that? I look truly horrendous. I swear I suddenly look 10 times bigger than I am and you're all sweaty. And I was sweaty, that labour was just, oh, you can watch my labour vlog. Anyway, <laughs> my heart rate has gone down. I'm kind of over it a little bit. I'm having such a busy day because now I'm at Freddie's school. It's midday, just before midday, and I'm going in for his parents' evening. So we'll see how that goes. How cute Freddie's drawing of himself when he's older, he's turned into Harry Potter with a scar on his head. And okay, well, let's go home. That's the first step. <sighs> Literally one meter away from nursery. Everyone else has got home already, Finn. Dun, 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 dun. One small step for Finn. One giant leap for toddler cancer.
sound Facing you out, that's true Now I get butterflies Just thinking about your eyes And that can't be all bad Things came up, things went down So we have, so when we pick you up from nursery at 12.30, we have about 12.31, <laughs> nearly three hours. You'd like some milk? How do you ask nicely? I've got you some water, but would you like some milk? No. How do you ask nicely? Just not stop talking, but you can probably hear that Finn has a bit of a... He doesn't have a problem with talking. Some drawing, but he does have a speech, like, um, he's going for speech therapy, basically, because he doesn't pronounce his words properly. Um, he's now three, um, and I think I'm the only one who can understand him, and he gets really, really, really frustrated. So every single day on the way back from nursery, we have an argument, because it's not that... Because I can understand him, but it's not enough for me just to understand him. I have to understand him, then I have to... He wants me to repeat back what he said so that he can tell I've understood him. And I have to say, I'm listening. So I'm like Fraser Crane, I'm listening. Sit up and eat your lunch if you want an egg. Come on. Come on, Pickle. For Finn. Come along. Finn's potty trained now, aren't you? Big boy, go toilet on the toilet, don't you? Look at your bedroom. Let's go on the toilet then. Don't actually know what to do with Evelyn. I'm gonna to have to pop her in her pop her in her crib. Oh, you're not gonna like that, are you, sweetie pop? You're not gonna like this. Sorry. But you're nice and safe, okay? I know, but you're nice and safe. deal with this many children. It's just really stressful for Evelina at the moment to be by herself. There you go, well done. Good job Finn, you want to build something? She's finally a bit happier now. So I think that happens sometimes when she wakes up. She just gets really tearful, has her feed, and then she's just chilling on my lap. And um, sometimes the wind gets into her. So she's had her um, colicies, this thing I bought. Finn is having some chill-out time on the iPad. So we've just got a few minutes before we are heading to get ready from school. I was just thinking I was going to squeeze in her bath now because she's happy. And I thought, no, no. Just sit still for 15 minutes till we've got to go. Wincy, wincy spider, climbing up the spot.
Nothing can stop me from going for gold I'm out of the dark I'm out of the cold I think the plane's at the doing homework and now Evelina's awake This is crunch time I'm coming my sweets I'm coming my sweets Well done Freddy Love is Hey little girly <laughs> hey beautiful girl. Hi my beautiful girl. Can I get one of your smiles? Can I get one of your smiles? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Gorgeous girl. <laughs> five o'clock now. Yeah, five o'clock Evelina. I really should tidy up this house. I just want to spend like an hour just tidying, but I just can't put her down. She does not want to go down at this time of day. Um, I could try her in the baby carrier. That worked the other day, didn't it, sweet pie? Okay, she is lying down on her little sleepy head thing. Yes. So I'm going to blitz. Blitz. This is like... <laughs> I'm just going to walk in circles because I can't think where to start. I need to do everything. This is like speed cleaning without being sped up. Ta-da! And look who's awake again. Mummy got a really quick tidy around the house and I'm very, very, very happy about that. This kitchen is kind of driving me crazy. So we're going to sign off this vlog here, I think. Kids are just sitting down for dinner. After dinner, we're going to do some drawing put them into bed and this one has um, very colicky symptoms in the evening so she's already started crying and wanting to be held so I will do a separate vlog about how we get with colic in the evenings and our sort of bedtime routine. Thanks so much for watching this. Um, if you've got here I am very very impressed. Do leave a comment if you've got this far, give it a like and a comment below and ask me any questions or anything you're interested in seeing. Um, this is kind of an experiment see if I can do days in the life with three kids. <laughs> um, these are the types of vlogs that I really 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 love doing, just the everyday stuff. Remembering our little happy days together and it's been a special day today because of the Bella magazine and parents evening and everything. What a hectic one, hopefully a bit of a quieter rest of the week. Take care lovelies, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can subscribe just to follow me, um, which means just get updates. There's a little bell signal that you can press to get updates. And do click below, you can follow me on Instagram as well. Have brilliant weeks and I will see you all in my next vlog. Take care, bye bye.